It lowers blood cholesterol, reduces inflammation, improves immune function, curbs the appetite, reduces the risk of colon cancer, and fights depression. No, it's not a new pill developed by a pharmaceutical company. It is dietary fiber. But uh, as is usually the case, the story isn't as straightforward as implied by cereals, gummies, and even candy bars that scream added fiber on their packaging. Simply stated, fiber is the component of food that we cannot digest, meaning that as it passes through the stomach and small intestine, it isn't broken down into nutrients that can be absorbed into the bloodstream. As a result, it passes through to the colon. Now things get more complicated because fiber is not a single entity. Cellulose, lignin, pectin, inulin, cilium, guar gum, polydextrose, beta-glucan, and resistant starch can all be labeled as fiber, but have different chemical compositions and different physiological effects. Some of these serve as <clears throat> tasty meals for the hundreds of species of bacteria that inhabit the colon, well, bacteria have no interest in the likes of cellulose or cilium. These, after absorbing water, exit the colon and thereby serve as laxatives. On their way out, they can also absorb bile acids that normally would be reabsorbed into the bloodstream. This means that the liver has to synthesize a new supply, which it does from cholesterol, the result being a lowering of blood cholesterol. Fiber that can be digested by bacteria is referred to as fermentable fiber, and fermentation produces acetic, propionic, and butyric acids, known as short-chain fatty acids, and these have diverse effects. They can inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria, stimulate the release of appetite-suppressing hormones, alleviate depression, and by helping to maintain the mucus layer that coats the intestine, they can prevent bacteria from entering the bloodstream where they can cause inflammation. Because of the benefits that have been attributed to an increase in dietary fiber, <clears throat> many products now feature added fiber. This generally tends to be just one type of fiber, usually inulin isolated from chicory, cellulose from wood pulp, bran from grains, or synthetic polydextrose whereas the health benefits seen in studies have been from a melange of various types of fiber that are ingested when vegetables, fruits, nuts, and whole grains are consumed. Inulin, for example, can foster short-chain fatty acid release but has no laxative effect. Methylcellulose acts as a laxative but isn't fermentable. So the best bet to meet the recommended 25 grams of fiber a day is to eat a diversity of plant products and not rely on fiber added to packaged foods. That for today is our Cup of Joe.